Hi everyone. Uh, this video is just to show how I used to make my scenes. I'm not sure if it's the right way to use this method for making games, but it looks like uh, it did well for uh, making movies with Godot. And I think it will be easier for beginners like me who has no um, previous knowledge in coding. So basically, I'm just trying to apply the things I learned from Blender. So this method can be used for making movies in Godot. I usually start with a plain machine blender, then scale it to whatever size I want. You can subdivide the mesh using remesh or uh, any other way. Then you have to unwrap the UVs. Uh, for texturing then go to texture paint and uh, add a mask for the path then enable the wireframe mode on top of the Textured display uh, so you can uh, see what's happening when you are doing the sculpting. Now you can save the texture uh, to a folder. Now you can export your terrain mesh. Don't forget to shade smooth. Now you have to delete uh, the areas which are not needed for the multi mesh instances. So now you can save this as a uh, base mesh for the multi meshes. Now open the Godot and start a new project and you can import all the files. Create a mesh instance for the ground and import the ground mesh. You can load the um, the base mesh for the multi meshes as a child of uh, this one. Or you can turn off the visibility so it won't be uh, shown in your render. We we'll like to make the mesh unique uh, to add materials. Now I'll show you how I uh, make my terrain material. As I am not good at uh, coding, so I'm using a visual shader. So basically, it's the same method uh, we use in Blender.
First, I'm going to load the uh, texture we created in Blender. But we are going to use it as a weight for mixing the ground and path textures. And most of my works, uh, I'm just experimenting with the fast noise light uh, textures. And then you can add a color ramp to add colors to your noise texture. You can experiment with your own settings, uh, but this is what I usually do. Uh, create another uh, noise texture uh, for the normal map. Don't forget to enable the as normal map on the noise texture. You can adjust the normal map depth value. And here you can use the UV scaling for multiplying the texture. Now we can create a mix node to mix the ground texture and the path texture. So I'm using a vector 3 mix node uh, and uh, using the texture imported from Blender as a weight. I'm just adding a color constant um, for the path. So this is the basic uh, ground and path uh, settings I use all, on all my videos. So in this way you can add more textures uh, using uh, another mix node and mask texture. So for uh, adding the grass, I'm just using a simple texture I created in Krita. In some of my videos, I have uh, used uh, grass textures from Open Game Art also. But just for demonstration, I'm using this texture for now. So basically this is a single quad mesh texture. You can set the size as you want. Now for creating multi mesh just choose the second ground mesh as target and the grass quad mesh as source. The rotation tilt and scale you can set as you wish. I'm not sure if this method is good for making lot of chunks and large uh, terrains but it works well for a small scene. 
instead of a cord mesh you can add uh, more cord meshes and make a, a larger grass clump uh, so that will cover the whole area so just for demonstration purpose i just used only a single cord mesh here For the sky and clouds, I'm just using a very simple method, but it has some uh, drawbacks also. I'll just show you what it is. It's basically a physical sky material, and I'm adding a noise texture to the night sky. And you can use a color ramp to adjust the clouds. You can adjust the fractal settings uh, for uh, better clouds. But the problem with this method is that texture is not aligned properly. You can see this if you look at 90 degree above. But this won't be a problem if your game camera is not going to rotate 90 degree upwards. Then I usually use a depth fog uh, to give some accent to the sky. So you can add some light blue tint which enhances the sky. Then you can add some volumetric fog if you are using the forward plus renderer. These settings may vary according to the scenes so you have to experiment with uh, different values and see which one work out for you. Uh, you can use the other settings uh, i'm not showing it them here because uh, i still have to experiment with those settings like uh, sdfga ssil ssao ssr uh, so i have used them in some of my works but i'm still not uh, sure about how uh, it will work with uh, exterior scenes So this is the basic scene setup uh, I used to do on all my videos. Now you can add uh, rocks, um, trees, uh, plants and uh, anything using this same method.
okay that's it for this video i'll explain how i made the the ground and uh, water shaders uh, in the next video please don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you